Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about precautionary measures for earthquakes. And the learning competency for this video is to apply precautionary and safety measures before, during, and after an earthquake. And these are the learning outcomes. Listen, look, and listen, and learn. <laughs> These figures show some of the impacts of major earthquakes. It's a picture of a bridge in Oakland, California that collapsed during an earthquake. The second figure in the red shows the collapsed apartment buildings in Niigata area of Japan. This is due to the liquefaction, which we have studied in the previous videos. This too happened in the Philippines. The image in the left shows the facade of the Immaculate Conception Parish Church in Bohol. The picture in the right shows the damage building after a 6.5 magnitude earthquake in Mindanao last 2019. Now, with all these types of major damage, people often attribute malevolence to earthquakes. Please keep in mind that not a single person has ever been killed directly by an earthquake. It is the fact that we humans persist in building things which are prone to failure in earthquakes. So this human failure result in deaths during an earthquake. So remember, earthquakes are just mindless natural phenomena, but we aren't. So let's talk about the things to do before, during, and after an earthquake. So you have to remember that the key to effective disaster prevention is planning. So what are the things that we need to do before an earthquake? First, know the earthquake hazards in your area. Second, follow structural designs and engineering practices when constructing a house or a building. Third, evaluate structural soundness of the buildings and houses. Try to strengthen or retrofit if necessary. Okay, when we say retrofit, it's to add a component or an accessory to something that did not have it when manufactured. Next, you have to prepare your homes, workplace, or schools. Okay? First, you have to strap or bolt heavy furniture, cabinets, etc. to the walls. Next, you have to check the stability of hanging objects. Make sure that those things like ceiling fans, chandeliers will not fall. Okay. Now, breakable items, harmful chemicals, and flammable materials should be stored properly in the lower most secured shelves, especially if you are inside your school or the chemistry laboratory. Okay. Next, you have to familiarize yourself with the exit routes. So you have to know where the fire extinguishers, first aid kits, alarms, and communication facilities are located. And of course, you have to learn how to use them beforehand. Alongside with it, you have to prepare a handy emergency supply kit with first aid kit, canned food, and other items such as can opener, water, clothing, blanket, battery-operated radio, flashlights, and extra batteries. Lastly, you have to participate or conduct regular earthquake drills or other drills. Okay, now let's go to during an earthquake. Let's divide this discussion into different scenarios. We have when you are inside or indoors, outside or outdoors, or in a moving vehicle. Okay, let's start with when you are inside a structurally sound building or at home. First, you have to stay there and do not panic. Do the drop or dock cover and hold. So you should dock under a sturdy desk or table and hold into it. Or protect your head with your arms. Next, if possible, quickly open the door for exit. Stay away from glass windows, shelves, and other heavy objects and turn off gas or electricity. Next, you have to beware of falling objects and be alert and keep your eyes open. Okay? Now, if you are outside, you move to an open area. Okay? Stay away from trees, power lines, posts, and concrete structures. Of course, you have to move away from steep slopes, which may be affected by landslides. Remember the discussion about earthquake-induced landslides? Okay? So if you are near the shore and feel an earthquake, especially if it's too strong, move quickly to higher grounds because tsunamis might follow. Now, if you are in a moving vehicle, stop and get out.
do not attempt to cross bridges because this might happen, okay? As well as overpasses or flyovers, which may have been damaged. Now, what to do after an earthquake? So, after an earthquake, you have to be prepared for aftershocks, okay? Once the shaking stops, take the fastest and safest way out of the building, okay? We have a lot of don'ts. Don't use elevators. Don't enter damaged buildings. Don't use telephone unless necessary. And don't panic. Wow! Now, you have a lot of checks. First, check yourself and others for injuries. Check for water and electrical lines for damages. Check for chemical spills, toxic spills, and flammable materials. And of course, check and control fires which may spread. Now, if you need to evacuate your residence, leave a message stating where you are going and bring your emergency kit. And of course, keep updated on disaster prevention instructions from your LGUs. Okay? Hey, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house.